you're one of the reasons that they can get away with shit like that. Because you don't care. You don't, you don't care. Anyway, who's your PDD? No one. Who, my people do not even consider. <laughs> they don't know anything, man. They don't want to know. Let's say it better. Right, so verse 30. And Yahweh delivered it also, and the king thereof, into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were there, that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna, and all Israel with him, unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And Yahweh delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done unto, that he had done to Libna. Then Haram, king of Gezer, came up to help Lachish. Lachish, yeah. And Joshua smote him and his people <laughs> until he had left him none remaining. He killed them all. And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon and all Israel with him. And they encamped against it and fought against it. And they took it on one day. What? Sorry, sorry. Uh, and they took it on that day and smote it with the edge of the sword. And all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day according to all that he had done uh, that he had done to Lachish and Joshua went let me see I'm done almost yeah. and Joshua went up from Eglon and all Israel with him unto Hebron and they fought against it and they took it and smote it with the edge of the sword and the king thereof and all the cities thereof and all the souls that were therein he left none remaining according to all that he uh, that he had done unto sorry that he had done to Eglon but destroyed it utterly and all the souls that were therein and Joshua returned and all Israel with him to Debir and fought against it and he took it and the king thereof and all the cities thereof and they smote them with the edge of the sword and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein he left none remaining as he had done to Hebron, so did he. As he had done to Hebron, so did he to Debir, Debir, and to the king thereof. As he had done also to Libna, and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed. <laughs> and who told him? As Yahweh, the power of Israel, commanded. So if you want to blame Joshua, like he did the war criminal, <laughs> you boy, you need to off yourself and, and go and tell the Lord. All right, so if you have a problem with it, go talk to the Heavenly Father. And Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea unto Gaza and all the country of Goshen even unto Gibeon. So he, well, he went on a rampage. <laughs> he went on a butchering rampage over there. Beautifully. This is the type of power that we're going to get back. What's the last time a nigga went to war? I'm not talking about them stupid Shirek wars, you know what I'm saying? Even that they're 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 stu they, they, they can't. <laughs> Even that they fail, you know. Innocent bystanders, you know. In the midst of their onslaught, they get slaughtered. You know, they wait for the police not to be there, or they're hoping for the police not to be there because the cops is there. It's gonna be another an uh, Vaughn uh, incident because the cops was there and they popped one of his friends. Yep, he died that day. Shit. He wanted to go to war with another dude of his own race, of course. And then, you know, somebody sure showed him. And somebody showed his friend. That, that was the cops, by the way. The cops showed him. The Edomite cops showed his friend what was really bad about it. And the guy that was with the Quando Rondo dude, he showed the, the, the Vaughn guy what was really bad about it. Yeah, but yeah, but that, that's just, that's just a... a 
a, a stupid uh, example. I mean, really go to war. Our people don't go to war, man. You know? They fight amongst each other. They have gang wars. You know what they call it. But not wars like this, man. They fight against kings and their kingdom. You know, there's easily a couple of thousands of people over there, hundreds of I mean, hundreds of thousands of people over there, thousands of people in their army. You know, come on, man. And we still killed them. And our people didn't die. <laughs> That's the fun part. The only time we died was when Achan stole something. That's why it was rightfully, rightfully for him to be put to death. First stone, then burned for his criminal activities that he did which Joshua told him not to do. But he did it anyway. Because he was stubborn. I'm going to do what I feel like doing. That's about the time your feelings finna get you hurt. You need to think. Don't feel. I feel. You see, I feel like it should have happened this way. No. You should say, I think it should have happened this way or that way. Don't feel. Sissy. Take them pink panties off. And put your boxer shorts on, brother. You know? Verse 42, and all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because Yahweh, the power of Israel, fought for Israel, for Israel. And you can imagine it like this in your head. Let me see, Thundercats, Jaga, Thundercats and Jaga, Hif. Oh, let me see something here. No, not Hif, I mean, not Fig, I mean Hif. This one. This is how the Lord protected us. Don't want to play? Yeah. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon the Israelites. And there were no women there. And no children. It was only men. So yeah. Only these, these three here. But this is just an example to make you visualize something in your head, you know. Right, so it says here, verse uh, 40, Joshua 10 and 43. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal, which is here. So we've made a full circle. Because <laughs> I don't think that when we were here, I don't think we're going to go back over here, brother. We went here and then we butchered them, 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 them. And then we went, of course, you're going to go back to over here, Bethlehem. And here, then we went here, through here, and then we went here. Right, and then we went back over here, around this place, because Jericho is here of the Old Testament, because they did do that uh, research. And they also did the research of the Jordan River. Everybody knows that the Jordan River is there, so they do know that. And because it says that in the book of, uh, what, Joshua 6 or 5, 4? They went over the, they went into the Jordan, Jordan River and then they went uh, right across to uh, Jericho. So they know Jericho is very close to the Jordan River. So they know that. So yeah, right. It's very interesting when you read the history of our people, you know, it's dope. It's dope. It makes you, it makes you see how great our people are, especially when we are on the side of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, but when we are not on the side of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai and we're, we're worshiping other things, then this is going to happen to us. Uh, let me see. Slavery. This. Um, let me see something. Yeah, this. This is exactly what I was looking for. These type of things will happen unto us. This ain't war. There, this, this, this is a, yeah, a one-sided battle, because they ain't fighting back. They can't, because they're conquered. We're conquered, and we have been conquered and occupied for four hundred something years. And then you got bitch ass things. I have to say that word, you know, that want to fight for Israel. Stop occupying Gaza. Stop occupying Gaza. Occupying Gaza. Nigga, you occupied, you sucker. You in the you ain't got mm -mm, man. I can't I can't stand for them to fight for an Arab. I'm looking at you like what are you doing, man? But then again, that's why the Lord said two thirds of our people need to die because they're they're very stubborn and they're not gonna get out of that mentality. 
police control of the slaves, yeah, <laughs> until this day, you know, you got these Edomites doing stuff like this to you, you know, he probably has that stick with it to whip you on your back of the head, you know, so, these, these Israelites ain't fighting back, because it's, it's, it's already done for, it's already done for, but once that time comes, then we're going to be able to do these type of things with you. See your dogs? The Lord said, I will cut off man and beast. Your dog's going to get killed. You love your dog so much. You, These people, they love their dogs. Huh? They love the dog so much that people actually buy food for dogs and then they leave them. <laughs> That's funny as hell. That's funny as hell. I, I laugh at it because it's their own race. They don't care enough about their own people. But they do care about the dogs. They See? Look at this shit. See? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. They love the dogs. You know? They love them. Probably won't give money. <laughs> maybe they, maybe she did. I don't know. But they might pet the dog. And uh, see? They might pet the dog. When's the last time you, you put your hands on his shoulder? Oh, no. He stinks. The dog stinks, too. Yeah, but, but 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 it's a dog. I'm 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 white. I'm I'm supposed, you know, it's kind of, look kind of sexy, you know. <laughs> it's like a female. If you see a homeless girl, right, a homeless uh, woman, and she looks good, good looking homeless woman. If you see a homeless woman and she looking kind of good, right, right, looking all dainty and petite and stuff like that, right. Right? What's the first thing that come to a man's mind? Oh, I think I want to. They want to fuck it, you know. <laughs> that's how they think. <laughs> that's that's how a guy would think. That's how a man would think. If you saw this, they were probably trying to fuck her. She looked like a like a hippie Edomite or some stuff, something like that, you know. They're trying to fuck her. I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Unless she looks like really, you know, a drug addict, they're still trying to fuck her. So. I have seen that, so it's not something that uh, is far fetched. You know, a homeless man, a female uh, with a rich female. Let, let's see, let's say a rich man saw this woman. You can see she's kind of somewhat Arabian-like type, whatever, like that type of thing. You know, maybe a gypsy or something like that. And a man would look at her and be like, you know, what? she's still fuckable. Let me get her off. Let me get her off the streets and stuff like that, and give her a home and stuff. A rich man, I'm talking about, right? Like, uh, like this movie on um, <clears throat> Pretty Woman. Well, she was a prostitute, but a whore, if you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, let me see. If this was a female, came fell upon hard times. She wasn't a drug addict, nothing like that, right? I think I I am hundred percent sure that. If a man that had money saw her and she was all dainty and feminine like, he would want to take care of her like a stray dog. <laughs> I wanted to put that jab up in there. But yeah, he would want to take <clears throat> take care of her because he would look at her like, oh, yeah, I want, I want to have sex with you. <clears throat> but if, if let's say a handsome, <laughs> so-called handsome, a handsome man. <laughs> Actually, they do, honey. A handsome homeless dude, you know, a rich female wouldn't just walk by and be like, you know, what, I want to take him home. First and foremost, she's going to be scared because she don't know what type of mindset this guy is in. Might, uh, you know, uh, might harm you or something like that. This homeless guy look from China looks uh, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, this is this is the fashion of Esau and this is his daily attire. It looks almost the same. So it, it just shows you that they ain't got fucking sense of fashion and stuff like that. But this was this guy, this criminal. Model. Yeah, this guy. You know, they made him into a, into a model. But yeah, I don't. He wasn't homeless. He wasn't homeless. So. Yeah, but still, that's not really something that happens often. You do see it the other way around. Guys picking up girls because they know, like, hey, she ain't got no home. You know what I'm saying? Let's, I, I used to, uh, you have what they call, how they call that thing again? Um, internet? I don't know how they call it in English. 
it's just a uh, boarding school but yeah a boarding school so we well it's not actually a boarding school actually you know the internet what i'm looking for the meaning of it because it's it's not a boarding school it's not a boarding school it's not a school at all actually um Yeah, it's like they eat there, they live there, and um, they eat there, they study there, they, they they go to school there. It's it's, but it's not it's not a boarding school. I mean, they didn't put them there. I don't know. This is not a perfect definition. This it is a it is a place where people live, and then they also go to. Uh, they basically they live there, and it's for problem children. That's what the internet is. It's it's not a boarding school. This is for problem children, and then their parents just mm -hmm, gotta go. You know, the parents don't really want nothing to do with them because they're they're problem children. So they cause a lot of problems for the family. Right. I used to pick up chicks like that. <laughs> I was fucked up, I know. But that was a long time ago, man. I'm painted from that, you know? <laughs> I used to do that. Because I, I know they ain't got nothing. Nobody love them. Nobody love them. You know how easy it is <laughs> to get them? You know how easy it is, man? They crave love and attention, so... It's kind of messed up, but uh, yeah, when you about that age, 15, and she's 14, and stuff like that, 18, 18, uh, yeah, because they, here in the Netherlands, uh, the, 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 the age of consent is 16, so I don't know what you're talking about over there. <laughs> Pedophile, shut the fuck up, nigga, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you stupid Negro, you're following too much after the goddamn devil. Uh, if this is 14. Well, I wouldn't do that because it's too young. And I'm not in Germany. But here. Age of consent of Europe. Yeah, 14. I wouldn't do that. If I was 16, 17, I'll pop the shit out you. I'll tell you that. You know, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? But, but uh, around here is uh, 16. So I'm here. So if I want some, but you got to be 18 if you are popping a 14 year old. You got to be like 18. That's about the time. But other places, it's like 16 and 16 and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So, you can do all those type of things um, in Europe. And in America, it's also kind of the same. It's kind of, uh, how you call it? Not the same. America. Hypocritical. That's what I mean with hypocritical. That's what I actually wanted to say. Because Asian consent in America, where the Jake's majority, majority are, our people, you know, um, uh, so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos, they they bumping it up to 18, but where the Edomites are, they bumping it up to 16. You know, bumping it down to 16, actually, I should say. Bumping it up, and then throwing it down to 16, where they are majority, you know, predominantly. And here, of course, is 17. Sorry, because they know that they're pedophiles by nature, so they want to do it like that but anyway uh, around them where they are the majority of the people in the in that in that so-called state then they bumping it up but with where our people predominantly are <laughs> they're racking it up and they're gonna go up 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 because they're yeah anyway so because they know if, if they if they made the whole land of uh, america if they made the whole land 18 60 70 percent of the Edomites would be in jail, maybe even maybe even 80 percent of them would be in jail because that's what they do. Fucking all little kids, they've been doing that. I mean, look, look, look at look at um, this one. You think I'm making it up? You really think I'm making it? Oh, it's just right thing, right thing. No, 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 that. Greece, actually. Pedestry in ancient Greek was a socially acknowledged romantic relationship between an older man, the whatever, and the younger male, which is a boy, not a fucking younger male. It's a fucking child. Sorry, sorry. I, I just hate it when devils... Here, this is what they're supposed to say. Pedestry is a sexual relationship between the ad an adult man and a boy. That's that's what I want them to say. That's what I want them to, to write. But they want to they wanna minimize their criminal activities. Which is what, what a criminal would do. That's, that's, that's where the hatred comes from. Because I hate, I just hate devil. They're liars. They're trying to minimize everything that they're doing. You know? 
And you're supposed to have this hatred. You're supposed to be angry. You need to know what you need to do with it. That's something else. But you can't just go around slaughtering people because that's stupid. If it be possible, just live at peace with all men. That scripture said so. But don't, don't, don't think I'm not angry. Don't think I'm not angry. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. Wait, wait, wait let me see. It. A time for, of war and a time of peace. Okay, a time to love. We're not in a time of love right now. But we, this is love. Love is the, is the scriptures. Teaching the scriptures to people. So we, you have love for a certain sect of people. Okay, a certain section of people. Which are the elect. You have love for them. And a time of hate. You hate the rest. Okay? You hate them. There's a time of hate. We hate them, but we love the nation of Jacob, the elect. Because a knuckle-headed Negro, I don't like you, nigga. I hate your guts. <laughs> to a certain degree. Because if you turn back to the Lord, I'm going to love you again. <laughs> but I know that when you're smoking my people, you're robbing our people, you're you're doing all kind of crazy stuff against our people. Don't think I, I'm going to love you, man. I would hope that you die. You know? I, I hope it for you. Because... Your, if I just want you to live, if you just live, right, you're probably going to kill four, five, six, seventeen of our people, you know, in your stupid little gang wars. I want you to die. Just just one, instead of you killing four or three. How about that? How about that? How about being logic? Huh? Oh, he hates his own people. I, I hate you cracker ass devil negroes. That's what I hate. A, ca a caucus nigga. A spiritual Edomite. Acting like a goddamn crack person. That's what you're acting like. Okay? A time of war and a time of peace. We had war right now. But the war is actually mouthy. The scriptures. We're fighting against them scripturally. But we had peace because we ain't physically fighting them. You know? We're not physically fighting them. Uh, for example, a time to kill and a time to heal. We're, we're about that. Uh, well, not, not we're not in a time of killing right now. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But we are in a time of healing. We're healing this, the, our people with the scriptures, you know? Heal my people. Uh, let me see, Isaiah 41, and also Isaiah 1. No, it's uh, 40, sorry. Isaiah 40 and 1. Comfort ye my people, comfort ye my, comfort ye, comfort ye my people, Lord, say of your power, Yahweh. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. All the pain and suffering, it is accomplished. Our punishment is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned. All the sins we have committed is, is pardoned because we're being woken up right now. So, of course, the, the fact that you know that you're an Israelite and the fact that you're listening to videos like what, starting with the Elder Apostles on down unto the, the, the little brothers all, all across the world. The fact that you listen then shows that the Lord had pardoned you in order for you to be able to listen and get back to him that's a pardon now you have people in your family they're knuckleheads even if you tell them all the great blessings that we're gonna get no I don't want to hate on my man I want to love him he can be forgiven too yeah it don't matter what they did to our people you the type of you the type of you the type of nothing that when your son or your daughter got raped you would you would cuddle them take them you see master love you or else he wouldn't he wouldn't penetrate you like that. He loves you. That's a sign of love. You should be happy. You know what I'm saying? You should be happy that the master showed his affection towards you. You know what I'm saying? Now go walk it off. Okay? That's what you would tell your son or your daughter or your baby. Because they baby fuckers too. If you didn't know. You know, that's what you would tell your kids. You're that type. I would hope that you would die. That's what, what else would I want for you? I want you to live? I don't think so, brother man. I don't think so. You know, you're a dangerous person. You're a danger. And therefore, you're a Han to me. You need to be stoned and burned with fire. And you will. And the Lord is going to do it. Once he put that spiritual power, heavenly spirit, that my mightily spirit upon his people, then you're going to be the hunted. For she had received of the Lord's, of the, <clears throat> she had received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins so we got punished yes but now Isaiah chapter 1 verse hmm. 
3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's script. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. We don't know our owner. E even an even ox, which is a stubborn animal, he knows his owner. A donkey, which is another stutter, a stubborn animal, he knows his master's crib, where his master resides, but, uh, bes like lives, basically dwells. But Israel doesn't know that they're, suppo they, 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 they're supposed to know who their power is, which is Yahweh, and he dwelleth in heaven. That's his home, and and by the way, we are the temple. So the Lord dwelleth within the within the Israelites. The kingdom of heaven is within you. The Israelites don't know that, or else they wouldn't be. <clears throat> they wouldn't be looking like this. They wouldn't be looking like this if they knew. What? What did I just see? Damn. Well, damn. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay. Damn. Even the Kushites do it. Damn. Another one? Or is it the same? It looks like the same. I don't know. Hmm. But when they follow Islam, they all in, they're all in check. They got their hair covered and stuff like that. You know, but they won't do this for you. They won't do this for the Bible. The Bible is read by a white man. Do you know how racist the Bible is toward these Edomites and these heathen nations? You have no idea. Read the book of Joshua. The Lord didn't spare them. He killed them. <coughs> Left and right. You know? Because there was heathens and because they was being wicked. But he loved Israel. And he still loves Israel. So, I don't know who this is. I have, I think I've seen it one time before. But I don't know who it is. I don't. I don't know who it is. Maybe some some celebrity or something like that. I don't know. I see, standing on a red carpet thing. So. I know they probably sold their soul and and their whole, holes. So for some for some five minute of fame. I don't even. I don't even know you. Uh, I don't even know who you are. But yeah. So, our people don't consider. But uh, let me see. A sinful nation. Yeah, basically we're destroyed. Our people are desolate. Our country is desolate. It's, it's burned with fire. You know, so they're not listen. They're not listen. They are not listening. So, <coughs> so yeah. So um, let me see something. Yeah, but we are being woken up right now. The Lord is comforting us by giving us the path uh, uh, unto salvation. And that is reading the scriptures, understanding the scriptures, and knowing that the scriptures is not a, a caucus thing. So, like like these type of people, they really want to go to the Arabs. You see a, a so-called black female <clears throat> that goes to an Arab religion, you might not 100% receive racism like that. But if you're if you a Jake man, if you're a dark-skinned man, even a Hamite male, man, he's going to receive that racism because it's a man. You see a female, you're a fuck toy. I got to say it like that because these females think that there's something of value. You're, you're, you're a vagina and, and a pair of tits. You know, so you're not really hated. You know, you're not really hated. They're looking at you like, mm, I think I wanna, I think I wanna spread those legs and, and do something to her, you know, do stuff to it with her. You're not a threat. You're not a threat, and you're the weakest link. So they're gonna fuck you. That's what they do, and that's why I'm waiting for them to fall, so I can do things with their women. Yeah, and it's gonna be fun, and it's gonna be allowed because the Lord said so. Here, so let me leave it at this. Deuteronomy chapter 21, if I'm correct. 21 and 10. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, just like in the time of Joshua. But sometimes the Lord said, you can't take their wives. You only need to take the virgins. That we take the virgins. And uh, sometimes he says, you cannot take none wives. You kill them all. And that's, that's, that's what we just was reading about in the time of Joshua. They took no slaves. They took not, but Gideon was lucky. <laughs> the Gideonites and the five cities in the, in the midst, they was lucky. And when you read of Sodom and Gomorrah, it was not just Sodom and Gomorrah. It was actually Sodom and the five cities about it. 
you know, there was more cities around it, not just Sodom and Gomorrah. So, so the same thing with Gideon. It was not just Gideon. It was there were cities around it too. I no no wait wait let me see. Uh, when they went to war, you had also you had let me see something. You had Jericho, yeah, Jerry I E and Jericho. The the people from I E AI, AI. They also came to kind of fight with Jericho against the Israelites, but they lost. So same thing with the Gibeonites. You had other places there that uh, joined forces uh, with uh, Gideon and them. Yeah. Right. So where was I again? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, basically, what, what was I, uh, wow, okay, anyway, there was more, there was more places over there, so, but yeah, the Gibeonites, and then we made war against them, and then, uh, we were supposed to kill them all, and we made a pact with them, against our better judgment, which that judgment would, would have been the Lord, he, he would have judged no you can't you shouldn't make but he left us but we, we, we didn't ask <clears throat> counsel at, at the Lord's hand we didn't talk to the Ark of the Covenant we didn't talk to it we just made an agreement with them well the princes actually and yeah we as the common Israelites we have nothing to say the princes they, they made the decisions for us and then after that we got angry at them like what do you, what do, you do what do you do what do you, what do you do that you know, but yeah, it, it's already passed. And the Heavenly Father allowed it to happen like that. And yeah, you know, so. Once that time comes, they're going to be our perpetual slaves once more. Oh yeah, I was reading Isaiah. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so basically our people are stubborn. And oh yeah, we're, we're being woken up right now. So that's, that's one of the parts. And oh yeah, that's what I was reading. <laughs> Man. I, I, I was looking around, and I, m most of the time when I see something, a picture, and I, then I then it jumps back in my head like, oh yeah, I was talking about that. So it says here in the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one, verse ten. So that that is not specifically only the Edomites, because like I saw, like I showed you, I saw a brown-skinned female of India. I don't. I think I clicked it away. I think I clicked it away. Okay. Okay. Cool. Doesn't matter. I remember her. <laughs> I might forget. I, I think 100% I will forget. But it's just uh, something to show you. Yeah? Okay. So? And um, their men are going to get jealous. Their men are going to... They shall envy thee, but they shall... And our women are not going to get angry. Because they're going to know the history. Like, yeah, I know why you're doing it they used to do it with us and some of our women they loved it too so they loved it look at them i mean i mean look at look at them they love it they love it so they love it they love it so yeah in that time it's going and nobody says anything to them you know look at the the holly weird i mean look at the before beyond gay beyond gay Look at the before and after Beyond Gay. Look at her. She used to be brownish, and now she looked like a a caucus white female. I saw her one time, and I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was her. Yeah, this picture. I did not even know that it was her. I, I was scrolling, looking for articles to make a video about and so like, and then I saw this white woman with J Gay Z. And I look now, it's like, oh my goodness, that's beyond gay. I didn't even notice. I did not even notice. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you. I didn't even notice that that was her. I, I, I clicked on the picture. I looked. And it looked to me like some Kim Kardashian. I thought it was Kim Kardashian or something like that. And then I scrolled on. You know, I just scrolled. I was like, okay, he, he chilling with Kim. Okay, cool. And then I scrolled on. And then I think later on, I, I saw the name. 
and I was like, what? And then I clicked it again, and I was like, oh my goodness, it, 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 is, it is her. It is her. And, 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 that, and that's it. And I never forgot it until this day. And this is her whore ass mother. No? Oh, that's her. Oh, okay. Didn't notice her there again. <laughs> Oh no! I don't like these 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 nigga white women. I don't I just don't like them. I'm looking at them like they are they're traitors, and and I know what I want to do with a traitor. So I'm not really I'm not really looking at you like that. Like you're some kind of beautiful thing. I'm looking at you like you fucking ugly piece of shit. That's 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 why you want to look white because you you yourself are ugly. But anyway, the point is that she used to be brownish, and then she turned this, and. There's so many celebrity females that do these type of things, you know. Some of them, I don't even know their name. And if I do know their name, I'm going to give them a nickname, Kanye Pest, you know. And uh, whatever, whatever, I don't know, because he is a pest. And uh, what is this? Is that Beyond Gay too? The wax figure, god damn. See, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This, this is what they make of him. She's a caucus female. She looked like uh, the Sha Shakira female or something like that. Yeah, singer. She looked like the Shakira thing. Shakira singer thing. Uh, with the yellow hair. When she had the yellow hair. Yeah, when you get when she got older, she started looking like a Latin female. But when she was younger, she really wanted to look like this caucus chick. You know? Like a caucus chick. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Look, look like a caucus chick. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that shit either. You know? Because cause I know that you are very dangerous. I know. Obviously, I know what side you're picking. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I see this, I'll be like, okay, okay I know what side you're on. And uh, that's very dangerous for you if I get that power. <laughs> yeah, And I hope many of you... Um, will never find out about uh, slave descendants like me, the angry ones, of course, the very, very, very angry ones, but I'm laughing all the time, so, yeah, I'm not a danger, <laughs> I believe in uh, superpowers, and you believe in flying rangers, but I believe in superpowers and, and, and doing all these type of things and stuff like that, so, ah, I'm just a joke, you should just laugh at me when I'm telling you that once I get my superpowers, I'm going to come get you, you should just laugh it off, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing real about me. It's fake. I'm as fake as your Christmas. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. I'm as fake as your flying reindeers, I should say. Yeah. You're right. So. Which I want you to believe. Which is good. You know, but yeah, yeah. So e enough of this. Enough of this. This nuisance. Uh, let me go back over here. And finish it up. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 10. When thou goes forth to war against thine enemies... And later on, I'm going to read in other chapters that when we went to war, we were allowed to take the women of the heathen nations. You know, and some of, time, some of them times, we were, we were not allowed to take them. Uh, and Yahweh thy power had delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, slaves. And see is amongst the captives a beautiful woman of another heathen nation, because you're not going to war with your own people. Uh, that's not what this chapter is talking about, right? And has a desire on her. So you want her. And like I said, our women are not going to have a problem with it. You might be like, oh, are you sure you my man? That's about the time that you die. Because I'm not going to kill you. The Lord is going to kill you. Why? <laughs> Why? Because if a rich man has money, he has a lot of females. That's what That's what women, they, they, they don't care. As long as you can take care of them, they don't really mind. You know? So a uh, rich man... Radio, radio, radio. Many women flock to one man. Many women flock to one man, and I don't need a devil with their statistic or whatever they call their these things. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. Because I know through history, I know through just going around in the world and seeing things, I know exactly what these women like. These women will go to concerts. I knew it sins here, so 
I know it says here, groupies go to concerts, and what do they do? They throw themselves at at one man, and it's about fifty of them. <laughs> and if and pardon, if the guy wants to sleep with all fifty of them, he can and he will, and they would have none of them would have a problem with it. None of them, they wouldn't have a problem with it, because they're programmed like that. You know. When you have a status, celebrity, and stuff like that, these females will throw themselves at you. And yeah, uh, that's that's why the celebrities, they, they do stuff like this, for example. They do stuff like this. Probably a chick that he doesn't even know her name. Probably doesn't remember her after that, neither. You know? And uh, they would do these type of things. You know? They would do these type of things. But uh, after a while... What 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 the? Uh, wait, let me let me turn it around. So yeah, not not after a while. Leave that. Um, ap no, after a while you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out for yourself. For yourself, you're gonna figure it out that uh, if you have status, then they don't care. So, in the kingdom, these women are not gonna care because we're all gonna be celebrities. We're all gonna be famous. We're all gonna be filthy wealthy. You know, <laughs> beyond rich. We're gonna have anything and everything. We're, we're gonna own people own them literally break them if we want to pling -a -ling -a -ling, like a vessel if we feel like at that day that you might die you're gonna die but then we're gonna wake you back up because we got that power and has a desire unto her that thou wouldest have her to thy wife then thou shall bring her to thy bring her home to thine house and she shall shave her head and par her nails and she shall put the raiment off of her what and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and do what? And bewail her father and her mother a full month. Why? Because she killed them. And after that, thou shalt go in unto her, sounds like rape to me, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. This is the law. What are you going to do? Fight me? <laughs> Haven't you seen what, I, we, what, what, what we just did to your whole city? Oh, the men couldn't protect you, right? That's why you have our females walking around like this. Because they feel like, he, he can even protect me, sleep me. Where's your God now? Where's your God now? My God is a white, yellow hair, pale skin. Right? Just like uh, Mariah Carey over here. What's her name again? Um, I forgot her name. But she has been a white woman since I... She, she has lived her life more as a white chick than than as uh, herself. The major, I don't know how old she is. Mary J. Blight. Mary J. Blight. That's what I'm looking for. Mary J. Blight. She has lived the majority of her life as a caucus female. That's what she has been living as. I have never seen her with her original hair. Probably shriveled, probably shriveled up under there, underneath over there. Because the more you wear these things, the more your own hair shrivels up. Because <laughs> it, it, it don't get no sunlight. It don't get nothing. So it's all messed up and stuff like that. But anyway, going on. As it says right uh, here. right? She shall be thy wife. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shall let her go whether she will. And some of them don't want to go anymore. First and foremost, they don't have a family. You, you you made sure of that. Second, some of them start to develop love for you, like um, Stockholm Syndrome, so-called Stockholm Syndrome, because it's named after a damn Edomite that named it. But uh, we, we are going to call it Jacob's Sons Syndrome. <laughs> I'm going to call it that. So, Lord willing, I'll, I will, I'm going to call it that. That's what I want. Jacob's Sons Syndrome. <laughs> You have the syndrome of Jacobson's. <laughs> you're you going to love me, God damn it. You're going to love me. You're going to love me. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her because thou hast humbled her. How do you humble a woman? <laughs> By going in, on into her after you slaughter her family. That's how you humble her. Which means un, unvoluntary. Let me put it in the other translation for you. <laughs> Let me show you what it says. Deuteronomy 21, verse 14, if I'm correct. Right, 14. Hub, hub, hub. Hub, right? It says here. <laughs> Humble her. Yeah, you dishonor the. How do you dishonor a woman? Hmm. 
forced. Hey. Rape. It's rape. That's that's what it goes into. Humble. How could the Lord allow rape? You know, a lot of females have that fantasy. I'm not telling you to go do it now. Because uh, why do you think they dress like that? If you are their type, they would allow it. <laughs> I have girlfriends, so I know what they wanted. They even tell you, like, do it, do it right. <laughs> Verse 14, humbled. Uh, Hebrews 60 and 31. Oppress. How do you oppress a female? Mishandle. How do you mishandle a female? Humiliate. It's humiliating for her. Be afflicted, afflicted, to oppress. Nowadays they call it he pressing on you. He pressing on you. You know, and you just got pressed. You know, that's because he oppresses you. In a, in, a, in a strong uh, type of mannerism you know he can force you to do stuff that you wouldn't do normally if you had another man to protect you you should say hell no but since your you, since your family is dead and the men of your city what are you gonna do I can do whatever I want with you except sell you or make merchandise of you so can't do that but I wouldn't want to do that anyway. I mean, like, um, you're going to stick to with me until death do you part. You part because I'm not dying because I'm going to be immortal. The Lord said so. So, yeah. So, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Yeah, you sticking around with me. Uh, if I get you, you, you ain't going away. <laughs> you, you're not going anywhere. That, that's at least the mindset that I have uh, as, as, uh, now. So, yeah. <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to change that. So I never actually had that type of mindset. Like I want to kick a chick away or something like that. Uh, you know. So I never had that actually. Never had that. So yeah. But in the beginning it's so-called love. It is actually love. Not so-called. In the beginning it's love. And then later on. Especially if you get kids. It starts with the money. Now she want money. I ain't got no kids. So I never went through that. But I have seen it around me. I have seen it. If in the big, I know I'm not that I'm stupid. I can see what what breaks relationships is money. Money breaks relationships, but when you're young, it's not about money, you know. And even when you're older, it's not about money. It's, it's when you get kids with them, then they change. Some of them change. Something snaps, and then they go on survival and greedy mode. Like well, you got no kid, money for the kid. And that's about the time that you want to leave or fight. So, if you stay, you fight. If you leave, it's just going to be more peaceful for you in your mind. You know, so. So, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.